हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अनकेडमी गेट एम ई पी आई एक्सी दिस इज योर एजुकेटर अप्रूव राव एंड यू आर वॉचिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन मिनिट्स एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ शेयर सेंटर दिस इज अवली एडेड टॉपिक्स इन द सिलेबस ऑफ गेट मैकेनिकल इससे पहले गेट मैकेनिकल में ये टॉपिक एडेड नहीं था इट वॉज न्यूली इंट्रोड्यूस इन द सिलेबस ऑफ गेट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड इट इज अ टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू द बेंडिंग ऑफ बीम्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न what the, is the concept of shear center what exactly do we mean by shear center in this video so this is a newly introduced lecture series by me concepts in minutes in which in every video we are going to discuss about one particular concepts within a few minutes it will be beneficial for your written exams as well as your interview exams ye ek naya lecture series hai jo maine introduce kiya hai beta concepts in minutes jisme har ek video mein हम एक नए कॉन्सेप्ट्स के बारे में डिस्कट करने वाले हैं ये रिटर्न एग्जाम्स के लिए भी आपके लिए यूजफुल होगा और साथ में इंटरव्यू के प्रिपरेशन करने के लिए भी काफी यूजफुल होगा ओके इफ यू आर वाचिंग मी फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम लेट मी इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ माय नेम इज अप्रूप राव ऑल इंडिया रैंक थ्री इन गेट मैकेनिकल आई डन माई एम टेक फ्रॉम आई खड़गपुर एंड माई स्पेशलाइजेशन वॉज डिजाइन इन माई फाइनल ईयर ऑफ एम टेक आई वॉज रिक्रूटेड बाई महिंद्रा एंड महिंद्रा सो आई वर्क दैट महिंद्रा रिसर्च वैली in the field of design of cars for 2 years then i decided to quit my job and i started teaching so i have been teaching for more than 6 years now and i teach subjects related to design strength of materials machine design engineering mechanics and theory of machines now let's talk about shear center what exactly is shear center so the concept of shear center is related to the bending of beams with thin walled cross sections jo thin wall ke cross sections hote hain उन केसेस में ये कॉन्सेप्ट हम देखते हैं ओके सो लेट्स से वी हैव एन आई सेक्शन मान लो हमारे पास एक आई सेक्शन की बीम है लेट्स से दिस इज द आई सेक्शन बीम ओके एंड लेट्स से आई एम अप्लाइंग अ फोर्स ऑफ some magnitude at this point okay let's say this is the shear force s okay now beta usually we apply the force at the centroid of the cross section right so this is the centroid of the cross section and i'm applying the force right here okay now when you apply the force the shear force what happens is the shear force is distributed throughout this cross section okay and this shear force per unit length is known as shear flow jo shear force aap apply karte ho beam ke upar it distributed it, dis, it is distributed over the entire cross section and shear force per unit length ko hum bolte hain shear flow now beta the shear flow means it is a continuous flow of shear shear jo hai shear force jo hai wo continuous ek point se dusre point pe flow kar raha hai that's why it is known as shear flow so if i draw the diagram of the shear flow how it is going to look let's understand so beta the shear flow in the i section starts from here and here and then it will continue continuously flow so you can draw the diagram like this so this is the shear flow okay now understand beta this is the centroid of the cross section okay if i calculate the net moment at the centroid what is it going to be understand the net moment will be equal to the moment of this shear force and the moment of this shear flow right now understand if i calculate the net moment about point c it is going to be zero because the shear force is passing through this centroid and the shear flow is symmetrical so beta this much shear flow will apply a clockwise moment and this much shear flow will apply an anti clockwise moment so the net moment about point c is going to be zero okay now let's consider another section this time i am going to consider a c section
let's say I have a C section like this, okay. Now, where will be the centroid of this C section? The centroid will be here, okay. So, let's say again I am applying the shear force at the centroid. Abhi bhi, maan lo, main shear force jo hai, wo centroid pe apply karta hon, okay. Now, in this section, how the shear flow will look like? So, understand beta, the shear flow will start at one point and it will continuously flow. So, the shear flow will look something like this. What is this? This is nothing but the distribution of shear force beta. Okay, if you are wondering still what is this shear, fo shear flow, it is nothing but shear force distributed in the cross section. Okay, if you want to learn more, you can watch my lecture of strength of material. So, understand here, if I calculate the net moment about C, this time the net moment is not going to be zero. Understand this time what is going to happen. This time if I calculate the net moment about point C, it is not going to be zero. Why? The net moment of the shear force will be zero. But there will be a moment applied by this shear flow, right? The shear flow is not symmetrical like this case. So it will have a moment about point C. Now understand, the shear flow that I am drawing is the active shear flow. There is something called reactive shear flow, okay, which will be opposite to this, okay. So that reactive shear flow will apply an opposite moment. This is applying a clockwise moment. The reactive shear flow will apply an anti, sorry, this is applying an anti-clockwise moment. So the reactive shear flow will apply a clockwise moment. And this moment will be acting about this axis, which is the normal axis. And what is the moment about normal axis? Moment about parallel axis is bending moment. Moment about normal axis is twisting moment. So, beta, ye jo shear flow hai, iski wajah se ek twisting moment develop ho raha hai, which is going to twist this cross section. So, this cross section will be twisted something like this. So, do you understand what is happening? Now, if you are wondering, it should be rotated anti-clockwise. So, beta, understand. Don't look at this active shear flow. Look at the reactive shear flow, which will be opposite. Okay. So, it will be twisted due to the reactive shear flow like this. Okay. So, understand, beta. In this case, I was applying force at centroid, but there is no couple. There is no torque. There is no twisting. In this case, I am applying the force again at centroid but there is twisting. So it means that the force will not always act at the centroid. Hamesha force centroid pe act nahi karna chahiye. The force must be applied at some other point so that there is no twisting in the cross section. Do you understand? In this case, this force S has to be applied at some other point so that there is no twisting in the cross section. That other point is known as the shear center. In this case, the shear center is at the centroid. Shear center jo hai, wo centroid pe hi hai. That's why there is no twisting. But in this case, the shear center is somewhere else. So in case of C section, the shear center is away from the centroid like this. Understand. So, in this case, the centroid is here, but the shear center is here. This is the shear center. So, beta, your force has to be applied at this point so that the moment developed by shear force and the moment developed by the shear flow will be equal and opposite and they will cancel each other. Again, beta, I am drawing the active shear flow. But you have to assume opposite direction. You have to assume a reactive shear flow. Okay. So the moment of this shear force and the moment of shear flow will be equal and opposite and they will cancel each other. So this point is the shear center. Ye jo point hai, ye konsa point hai? This point is the shear center. Okay. In this case, the shear center is at the centroid. But in this case, the shear center is not at the centroid. Now this concept is related to the 
थिन वॉल्ड क्रॉस सेक्शन थिन वॉल्ड क्रॉस सेक्शन मतलब जिनकी वॉल्स जो है वो थिन होती हैं इट इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल टू सर्कुलर सेक्शन और रेक्टेंगुलर सेक्शन और ट्रैंगुलर सेक्शन इट इज एप्लीकेबल टू सी सेक्शन एल सेक्शन आई सेक्शन टी सेक्शन लाइक दैट ओके सो यू नीड टू ओनली लर्न अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ शेयर सेंटर शेयर सेंटर होता क्या है तो शेयर सेंटर क्या है शेयर सेंटर वो पॉइंट है जिसपे अगर मैं एक फोर्स लगाऊंगा तो क्रॉस सेक्शन में कोई ट्विस्टिंग नहीं होगी यूजली इट इज एट द सेंट्रॉइड बट नॉट ऑल द टाइम्स लाइक हियर हियर सेंट्रॉइड एंड शेयर सेंटर आर एट डिफरेंट पॉइंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट शेयर सेंटर इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट शेयर फ्लो यू कैन वॉच माई लेक्चर्स ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल वेयर विल यू फाइंड माई लेक्चर्स ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल जस्ट ओपन दिस लिंक टाइनी आर एल डॉट कॉम स्लैश अप्रूव टेन इन दिस वन लिंक यू आर गोइंग टू गेट ऑल माई फ्री लेक्चर्स एंड नोट ऑफ दोज लेक्चर्स ओके आई हैव टेकन लेक्चर्स ऑन स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटीरियल इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिक्स थ्योरी ऑफ मशीन वाइब्रेशन मशीन डिजाइन so you are going to get all those lectures completely free and the notes of those lectures just open this one link tinyurl.com/approve10 you can also join my personal telegram channel and you are going to get regular updates of all my classes mere classes ki regular updates agar chahiye to bas is channel ko join kar lo just go to telegram app and search approve10 join this channel and you are going to get link and notifications of all my classes and if you want to study with us in a full structured course of gate and esc then take an academy plus subscription jinhone abhi tak an academy plus subscribe nahi kiya hai wo bacche is code ko laga ke an academy plus pe subscription le sakte hain aapko 10% ka off bhi mil jayega और साथ ही आप मेरी गाइडेंस में अपनी प्रिपरेशन कर सकेंगे यू कैन प्रिपेयर अंडर माय गाइडेंस ओके सो टेक सब्सक्रिप्शन यूजिंग दिस कोड अप्रूव टेन अन अकेडमी प्लस और अन अकेडमी आईकॉनिक ओके नाउ बिफोर लिविंग डोंट फॉरगेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन शेयर द लिंक एंड सब्सक्राइब टू दिस चैनल आई विल सी यू सुन विद सम अदर कॉन्सेप्ट टिल देन बाय बाय टेक केयर थैंक यू सो मच